Hi there, this is Ronnie coming at you with a video. Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, my first video of 2017. And it's back to RPGs. And this is a video response to uh, Becky Rose Dungeon Girl and her video on how to run horror RPGs. I will put a link in uh, for her video, which is excellent by the way. Um, wave an appearance by uh, Jason, the Rogue, GM, the Rogue DM. Uh, and yes, that's Rogue DM for any uh, people who prefer the title GM. No, it's the Rogue DM. I don't actually have a complaint about Becky's video at all. I think it's wonderfully... Uh, and it gets most of the best points across. Uh, and I think it's worth a watch. So it's as much a shout out for that video. And it's well worth watching. Um, the one thing I wanted to add. Which uh, Becky didn't put in. And I think it's important. Is I don't believe that horror should ever be. The first genre for a GM. Um, fantasy, science fiction, uh, superheroes, um, all those kind of games can work very well as a first game. Uh, even a sort of modern action game, you know, get your full John Woo on they're fine. Horror is different. Horror requires such an attention to detail in terms of atmosphere and has to be so precise in how you deal with that atmosphere then I think it's a lot to ask for a first time GM. I am sure that there will be some people who will play Chill or Call of Cthulhu or Cult or uh, any of the myriad uh, horror games out there and may very well take to it like a duck to water. In which case, you know, yay! But, in my opinion, it's not a good fit for a first-time GM. I say cut your teeth on something a little more, a little easier to run in terms of genre and learning how to create setting and atmosphere. And then, once you're a bit more comfortable, comfortable and confident in that, then put yourself out there with regards to creating uh, content for a horror game. One of the things I did like about uh, Becky's video, this is going to sound slightly egotistical but never mind, um, is when she was sort of counting down all the different things, I'm sitting there nodding, yep, 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 do that, yep, yeah, do that, yep. So, one of the things that the video actually, when it ended, I was sitting there going, I must be doing something right. Uh, because all those little tips, which, it's, it's, almost to the point of saying duh of course but if you are a fledgling GM or it's your first attempt at horror uh, they are excellent tips and pieces of advice to have and it's a very good video um, so yeah this is a quick video from me just to say go and watch Becky uh, her video is excellent I agree with it all, but I would add 
uh, not for first time GMs um, horror is a niche it's the same with humor actually the uh, the other one that I would never give a first time GM is Toon because humor and horror are both very very difficult to pull off uh, you can come close to him and you can do splatterpunk and gore fests in, in uh, a horror game and you know you can certainly do talk about horrific deaths and people with their hearts ripped out and so on but you're not really you're not going to sell that atmosphere of dread and foreboding um, that comes when you calmly quietly tell them that there's a creaking in the floorboards in the room above them footsteps softly falling creaking but no one is there and yet the footsteps continue to fall and creak stuff like that um, so yes that's my opinion uh, quick video thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with another video